to Mars, not too. Touching you. <laughs> not touching you. To Mars? I didn't go to Mars. Well, you had the purple shirt on. The whole <laughs> video on Martians, or... Is that what we did? I was on Mars. I kind of like the, the, our new gigs here that they're doing. Kind of digs. They're reclining? Yeah, it's kind of like, I want to rock out. But you bring your drums in. Yeah, okay. But instead so, of bringing your drums in, yeah, let's, instead of doing a music video, yeah, we're going to talk about investors and deeds on property. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about investors, deeds on properties, and investors, and investors, investors. As a matter of fact, investors having their sellers, the seller, sign a deed over in their name and the authorization to release information into their name so the investor, the buyer, who's trying to buy the property from the seller, gets portion of the property in their name and then negotiates the short sale. Are we smoking crack, people? I don't know, are we? <laughs> it just oh freaks me out, man. It just freaks me out. It freaks me out so much that somebody would be so bogus to go after homeowners to, to physically target homeowners and say, hi, I'll help you get out of this particular situation you're in. Simply sign part of your homeowner to me in this little deed here. Don't worry about it. You're not going to lose anything. They own half of your flipping property. Oh, and then by the way, let me negotiate on your behalf because, you know, I'm going to make this happen for you. Ah, freaks me out, man. Troy Sage, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much. It freaks me out. Tip your waiters. It's happened to a couple of my clients that bought homes from me, and then they called me afterward and said, you know, I'm not sure if I did the right thing, but I fell behind on my mortgage payment. I know that you send me stuff on short sales all the time, but I was really embarrassed that I didn't want to come to you when you sold me this home a couple, just, just a couple years ago, and, you know, blah, 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 things are happening. And they show me this listing agreement that they signed with some agent. I won't say the agent's name. They signed with this agent who then also has them sign over their deed, a portion of the deed. This particular individual's 50% ownership of their property, the deed. Well, the thing is with those investors there, the way they're portraying that, yeah, read the paper back. Great man. You need to meditate again. Okay, what the, the way this is being portrayed is, look, you know, if we have ownership interest in your property, that will enable us, it will put us in a stronger position to negotiate with the bank on your behalf and also be able to make a better case, if you like, for what we're trying to do. Nothing could be further from the truth. But that, that's their sales pitch? That's exactly what I have been told. I have actually seen a flyer on this saying, you know what? You're much better off negotiating there, you know, for yourself, and we can help bring this current and negotiate the sale in this, and we're going to do this, this, and this, and we're going to make this, and you want a new car, I'm going to get you that too, and anything you need, we're going to make all of your problems go away. Just take this pill. <laughs> Neo, <laughs> type of thing. The red or the blue. Well, right? exactly. But, okay, important thing here, when you sign over part of your deed, you're not signing over part of your note. Now you only have 50% ownership in a house that you owe 100% of the money on. Who's smoking crack? That's my line this week, you know? Who's smoking crack? Who is? I like, clearly... <laughs> sure you have <laughs> No, I haven't. <laughs> clearly the agent who's teaming up with this investor and then with a the straight face, how do you sleep at night? That's my question. You go to these homeowners that can't make their mortgage payments and are in trouble and say, hey, we do this all the time. Just sign this over, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I was so calm for like a week, man. You were. You know? But, you know, it leads into the mentality of the distressed property seller. Yeah. They're desperate. You know, and, and we'll talk about that at another time. But yeah. the bottom line is you've got people that are truly desperate. And the, the investment groups and the agents and the people that are doing this are doing nothing more than preying on people at their most vulnerable time. And it makes us sick, as you can tell. Yeah, it freaks me out. It's just, I don't know how people do it. So, bottom line here, you get anyone approach you and says they can make your problems go away, all you gotta do is sign over half your house. Remember, they're not taking half the debt. We've done videos before on who has to be on involved in a short sale. The person on the loan and the person on title, those are two different things whatsoever. If you're on the loan, the house is the collateral instrument. If you only own half that house, Whatever the value is, the bank now only have half collateral. Basically, they're going to come after, they want full collection. Your name is on that mortgage, they're coming after you. So rather than solve your problem, you just made your problem a whole lot worse. Yeah, and if you're an investor out there and you're pulling this kind of crap, why don't you call me and tell me how you can really do it. Matter of fact, I invite you 
you dirtbag. I invite you to come down to our office and shoot a video with us and you tell the viewers on the internet how you're doing this and how you're honestly helping people. Let's talk about the 1099 they're going to get when they're foreclosed on. Let's talk about if, you, if, you're, if you're 1% that you actually get done that you're going to buy it for less than market value, so, so you think, and if you do, they're going to get 1099 on that. You come down and you explain to me and our viewers how you're saving homeowners from all this distress. You're not. You're causing them nothing but a freaking cancer added to a war, right? You're so irritating to me, I dare you to call me. I dare any of you to call me. Any of you. Thanks. I need therapy, man. I'm going to go get Troy Avalian <laughs> right now, and uh, we're going to see you next time www.s2neg.com. Thanks for stopping by and I dare you to call me. I dare you.